Welcome to the Axiom. New file detected. Launching file. How's it going, everybody? My name is Leo, and today we are continuing the Omori file. Where we last left off, we had... I think I need to give away my garbage again. Um, but when we last left off, we had done a few side tasks, and then we went to dinner with uh, at Kel's house, and then Polly came over saying that Basil was missing. And so we went to look for him at this park, and we found him with Aubrey and her friends at their old hangout spot. And apparently Basil had just started screaming. They hadn't actually done anything to him. And uh, we fought all of them. We fought all of the hooligans and we lost. And then um, they all left except Aubrey. Aubrey had an outburst. She pushed Basil into the lake and... Okay, so we can't go that way. Um, and Leo almost ended up drowning as well, but they were saved by Hero. So today, I have a couple of theories as to... So which home are we going to? His home or ours? Okay, not ours. Um, but we... Before I take Basil home, I'm like... Okay, I just want to make sure. Um, I have a few theories as to where this game could go. And... I'm wondering if... Um, Basil is almost kind of... Clearly something is wrong with Basil. Like, um... And I don't mean just what we've seen so far. There is something going on with him that is beyond what we've seen and I think that like we know or we're assuming that he has been destroying the photos um, at the very least the ones with that have Mari in them and so I'm wondering if maybe Basil I think I did talk about this earlier in the series but I'm wondering if Basil maybe has something to do with Mari's death and he is like I don't know if he's just incredibly sensitive to people, like, telling him off, or he, if he's, like... It did cross my mind that Basil might be a bit more toxic than he's letting on, that maybe he's, like, almost, like, on purpose but unintentionally kind of, like, driving a wedge between Aubrey and the, and the rest of the gang. I don't know that for sure, that's just a thought that crossed my mind, but something is definitely going on with Basil. Something tells me we'll get we'll get uh, truth bombs when we find him in black space. But yeah, there's I just wanted to acknowledge that there is so, there is something going on. Also, as a little side note, I realized while editing last episode that the theme that was playing when Mari was leading Leo down the stairs after he jumped into the lake. That was the same theme that played when we first met Mari and Basil at the very beginning of the game when we, when we went to the picnic. It was the exact same theme, but it was played slower, which I found very interesting. Basil! What happened? Is he okay? His breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes and a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Quick, come inside. Can you help me bring him to his room? Sure thing. But yeah, I'm just wondering if... Yeah, like, I, I'm not trying to, like, accuse Basil just because I, I don't know what's going on for sure. That was just a thought that had crossed my mind, that he might be um, trying to drive a wedge in or he might be um, 
I don't know. He might be the type of... He might have the type of condition where his, like, in his sorrow or his depression or something, he's unintentionally hurting the people around him. I don't know. Like, it's very easy to, like, deflect br blame onto Aubrey because she's so outwardly, like, brash and hurting and, like, hurting and hurting others. But Basil... I'm getting the impression, especially when Aubrey's friends said that they hadn't done anything to him, he just started crying out of nowhere. Um, I'm starting to get the impression that maybe Basil is kind of doing the same thing, but it's more inward. Which is... Which can be in some ways more dangerous because it's harder to see and therefore it's harder to like help I don't know I guess we'll see what happens like I said we'll probably find out a lot more like we'll probably get a lot more clarity once we find Basil in black space but we'll see phew that was intense I hope Basil wakes up soon Okay, so we are now in control. Let's go ahead and save. Empty pick and basket, would you like to save? Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and save on... Yeah, let's just keep saving on three. I was also thinking about it, and I probably should have taken the pepper spray, but just not used it in the fight, because the pepper spray could probably come in handy in a future battle with someone who isn't Aubrey. But... I don't know. I don't know if we'll go back to Kel's house at all in this day, but we'll see. How's uh, the grandma doing? Basil's grandma is breathing steadily. Does this have anything new to say? Okay, no. Can we still look in Basil's mirror? We can. Interesting. Hey, Kel. Hey, Leo. It looks like Basil's gonna be just fine. I heard from Mom that Basil was missing and that you two went looking for him. When I was running around the park, I heard some commotion coming from our hangout spot. I guess I got there right in the nick of time. So, what was happening back there? Aubrey... She pushed Basil into the lake. What? That was Aubrey back there? No way. She wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure there was some kind of misunderstanding. She's not the same anymore, Hero. She's become all messed up after you left for college. Aubrey. What happened while I was gone? Maybe I should have never left. It's not your fault that this happened. Things could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up. You've done all you can. Come on, let's go home. I know I, I think I checked this already, but what skills does Hero have? Heals a friend for 25% of their heart and guard. Also, Kel is not doing okay. Let's just, um, pocket. Uh, toys, first aid, use, on Cal. Now that we're all together, does Hero have anything to say about Cal's grandma? No, okay. Can we go into the room? We can. 
I've been taking care of Basil for two years already, but I barely know anything about him. I wish he would open up about himself more. I just want to help. Oh, Leo. There's... no way out of this. Is there? Poor Basil's been through so much these past few days. Basil, you must be tired. Please get some rest. We'll come back for you tomorrow. Huh. Maybe he actually can't control what he's, uh... Whatever he's going through. Like, it's something... Which, I mean... Depression and stuff like that already is that. There are elements of it that are definitely beyond the person's control, but... Like I said, there's, there's something more going on. You know, Leo, you were pretty awesome back there. Jumping into the lake to save Basil like that. Even if Hero ended up saving the day, I think you deserve some recognition too. How about a high five? Do you want a high five, Kel? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Can I go? Sad slice of cake. I don't remember whose house this is. There's an open phone book on the table. The person seems to be looking for some odd jobs. Alright, so let's explore around a bit as hero. An ashtray. A wardrobe. A newspaper. This bed's a little on the hard side, but overall not bad. 7 out of 10. A mirror. These papers and magazines, they seem to have accumulated over a long period of time. Oh. Who is this? Not now, Dad. I'm busy. Who? Is this like Vance or something? <laughs> Is this just gonna... Okay, I have a feeling it's looping now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's see if it adds twelve the next time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, yeah, it's it's looping. Hmm. Hi. I had my son go to the fix it to buy a new lamp for my living room, but he's taking his sweet time. Bah! He's always so slow with these things. I wish someone would tell him to hurry up. I didn't- I don't have all day. Knock knock. There's no response. Okay, so... Let's... Okay, um... Actually, I wonder what happens... Equip... With the paintbrush. Just because we can. So we can go back to the hardware store and tell that guy looking at the lamps to hurry up. But let's go ahead and do some things before we 
um, go back to the house and progress the story. Can we? I have a feeling no. There's no response. I wonder what would happen if we went back to the thing now, to the hideout. Would Aubrey still be there? Also, would Hero have a reaction to this? Do you have the same line of dialogue? Yeah. Sorry. I don't know if I'm ready for this yet. You know what? That's fair. That, do that does suggest that maybe we'll see it in the future as part of the story with Hero. Like, I feel like that's a pretty important step. Just take checking to make sure nothing else has changed. The fact that we can go into Kim and Vance's house whenever we want is incredibly funny to me. I think it would be incredibly funny if we just barged into their room and they were here. Oh, they are here. Oh, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, hey, what's up? Huh? You're so calm. Aren't you going to challenge us to a fight or something? Hmm. No, I don't really have any beef with any of you. I don't really have beef with any of you. Me and Kim just always do the same stuff together. I'm only one year older than her, but no one believes me because of my beard. She's a lot of talk, but she's got a big heart. And me, I got some big muscles. Hi. Aubrey. Why won't you tell me what's wrong? Ah! Ugh, it's just you two. What makes you think you can barge into people's rooms like this? Your mom let us in. She's very nice. You must have made friends with my mom, huh? She lets in anyone who listens to her talk. Oh, okay. I wonder if they're together. That would make things complicated if she's having feelings for Leo, but she's with Kim. Maybe that uh, is making like things even more complicated for Aubrey because those feelings are now conflicting with feelings for Kim. So who do we have? Because the scooter's here, which must mean that someone else is home. Charlene. Hello. My name is Charlene. Charlene? I thought your name was Charlie this whole time. Hiya, Charlene. I'm Kel, and this is Leo and Hero. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Aw. Love litter on the table. Okay, she has no reaction to that, I guess. A fancy tea party for two. Huh. Okay. Maybe the hooligans aren't so bad after all. But let's go and... Before we visit 
that street. Let's go back up. Hi? Life's kind of just lately. People watching, people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. I might make a habit of coming to this park more often. Okay. Interesting. Let's go and do the fix it thing. Hi, you're, you look new. I'm meeting up with someone, but they're late. Don't tell me I've been stood up. Uh, sorry, man. A water fountain. You can see coins at the bottom. I guess I cannot do anything with those. Uh, let's go into the fix it. Oh, I can challenge him to a rock battle? Interesting. Hmm. Which floor lamp should I get? The pink one? The blue one? The plain one? The fancy one? Why does this even matter? It all looks like trash to me anyways. Uh, I hate decisions. I think I'm gonna throw up. Eh! Who are you? What do you want? Oh, is my mom asking for me? Tell her to wait. I'm the one going out all this way to pick up this floor lamp that I don't even care about. Besides, she's so picky. I don't know why she doesn't just do it herself. Ugh, what a trashy situation. The floor lamps are trash. You're trash. Heh, <laughs> yes. It all makes sense to me now. This world, this world is nothing but trash. Hey you, if my mom wants her lamp so bad, why don't you get it for her? You got $50 from the strange man. I've got better things to do. Oh, I bet he's gonna re I bet he's gonna join the recycultists. Lamps. Lamps. Smile, you're on camera. So am I not... Okay, I guess we're not doing that. Let's go ahead and really quick do this clash battle. Heh. <laughs> I see you're showing off your pet rock there. I don't normally whip out my pet rock during work hours, but you must be really good at shopkeep sent you. Are you ready for a real challenge? Uh, sure, why not? As one of the four veterans of Faraway Plaza, I have a reputation to uphold. If you're asking for a clash, I won't be going down so easily. I might skip this because it's all the same. Oh, pterodactyl dude with five. Paper. Gotta start out with classic. Hmm. That took like 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't even know. I was using weird logic to try and get around the AI, but I did it. No way. This must be some sort of mistake. Pateri. How could we lose? Uh, whatever. Back to work it is. Hey, can we buy a lamp from you? Buy... I wanna buy a floor lamp? It's going to be 50 bucks. You still want it? Yeah. Thanks for the business, bud. You got a floor lamp. Alright. Interesting. There isn't anything new in the greenhouse, is there? Oh, there is something new in the greenhouse. Who is this? Sometimes I come here to look at the flowers. I'm thinking of getting a few for the house, but I heard that some plants attract ants. Ants are the bane of my existence. The last thing I want are ants crawling around my house. Hm. Mincy is diligently sketching away. Out of curiosity, what happens if I equip? Uh, cool glasses. Let's go with the paintbrush. What happens if I talk to her now? No, nothing. Okay. In that case, let me just put the pet rock back in. And let me switch out. I think the paintbrush suits Hero more. Nothing of interest here. 
Out of curiosity, is there more in other Mart? Bump to bump to bum. Hi. La di di la di da la di di la di da. Bum, bum, bum. Hmm. I've never cooked for a whole party before. Maybe I was too ambitious this time around. Should I get something that's, that is better quality or something with more quantity? How do I know which brand I should choose? Are green onions and red onions the same thing? No. Huh. <sighs> Maybe we should have just gone got delivery. Hey, no need to stress about this, Karen. I believe in you. This is the same couple who's throwing the party, right? Yeah. Besides, if no one else eats your fo food, you know at least I will. <laughs> oh, Sean, you're so sweet. What did I ever do to deserve someone like you? Uh... Can I help you? I guess not. <laughs> oh, Sean, you're so sweet. Okay. Let me go ahead and get more. First aid. Running low on money here. Oh, hello there. Hmm, I see. You're carrying a pet rock, so that means you want to clash. I'll have you know us veterans are a bit tougher than you normal players. Do you still want to challenge me? She didn't even have an icon above her head. What the heck? Okay. Come on, Octago- Octa- Octotaco. <laughs> Let's show them what it means to be a veteran. I guess we're doing this now. I didn't even- Yeah, she didn't even have an icon above her head. Huh, okay. But we... lost? Wow, I'm really shocked. I guess Shopkeep was right to send you to us. You seem to have a lot of potential. I'm sure you'll go far. Miss Candace told me to buy some painkillers for a headache. Apparently a lot of kids around here like to steal candy. They must be so brave. Miss Candace is really scary when she's angry. Uh, interesting? So she didn't even have an icon above her head. Um, do you have an icon above your head? Nah. Uh, do you have, are you supposed to have an icon above your head? I'm gonna be cutting a little bit out. Is there anyone in hobbies who, oh. Ah, Leo. You've come. I've heard from the other veterans that you've already defeated them. Yes, that's right. I said other veterans. It's about time I finally revealed myself. I am Shopkeep, the strongest veteran of Faraway Plaza. I'm, it's really impressive, Leo. The cute girl, while cute, was kind of bad at the rock, paper, scissors. In this short amount of time, you've managed to be the best in our area. Except me. Leo, I must attest to your strength myself. You are going to have to fight me right here and now. Sure, why not? Heh. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Let us clash. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, okay, opening move. Boom. Maybe just picking random things is gonna work out for me. That was truly a splendid battle, Leo. You and Jash fought with all your strength, but alas, I remain victorious. Still, I must congratulate you. You have done well to come this far. I think it's about time you and Jash had a good long rest. Wow. 
I don't quite know. I don't know how to describe my strategy for this. They weren't really guesses. But at the same time, I don't know exactly how what was happening in my head makes made enough sense that I was able to pick stuff out. Basically, I was like, um, he seemed to do doubles quite a bit, but I knew if he did a double, I didn't think he would do a triple. The same doubles rule for me that was for the fix-it guy applied here, where if I picked a double... If I picked the same thing twice in a row, he would always get me on the second one, so I didn't... I never picked the same thing twice, I always changed it. I don't know. Amazing. You're really amazing, Leo. You may even be better than... No. Never mind. I may have already said too much. As a prize for your victory, take this. You got a nostalgic CD. Huh. Also, there is one veteran in Faraway Plaza who is stronger than even me. Some say that she may even be the strongest clasher in the entire world. But she's elusive and keeps her identity a mystery. Though, I'm sure if you found her... I'm sure if you found her now, she would be able to sense your strength as I have. If you choose to seek her out, you may regret it. But I won't be the one to stop you. Just be wary. She truly is a force to be reckoned with. You may have been, you have been warned. So she's in Faraway Plaza. I think I know who it could be. But let's find out. Oh, hi. You're here. The orange cat looks hungry, feed some fish. Yes. Meow. Meow. Cat left to get for you. You got trash. Cool. Um. Let's go grab another fish, I guess, just in case I run into them again. Also, I think I know who the remaining clasher is. Oh. Never mind, I thought it was going to be Candace. Other Mart Lady glares at your pet rock. Oh. What is it? I just wanted to get some fish. I should probably unequip my pet rock. <laughs> I did notice the theme changed. Also, it's Jash with it's like it's like hell Jash. Um <laughs> Um interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and unequip this for now just so I can get some fish. All right. And I think we're going to um, leave that be for now. I think I've had enough clashes for one day. We'll go ahead and tackle that on like one day left or something when we have more time and when they let us do the jobs and stuff. Or I might, may, maybe I'll even do it off camera if I have time, but yeah, that's, nothing, that's not something I want to do right now. So out of curiosity, can I visit... Let's go ahead and save. Then actually, let's go ahead and really quick play the Nostalgic CD just to see what we have here. An 
old jukebox. Do you want to donate your nostalgic CD? Yes, I do. Yes. Nostalgic CD. Musical connoisseurs, who composed this? Hanging with the Boys by Slime Girls. A cover. If it's a cover, does that mean this song is copyrighted? It's very nice. Very, like, yeah, just minimalists. Very nice guitars. Here, I want to know who composed the other songs. Uh, the Mary CD was um, the one by Toby Fox. And the other worldly CD was... Stardust Diving by Sam Neeland. I thought this was going to be the other world CD, like the, just the other other world theme, but these covers and remixes are really good. Oh, I think this is a cover of the other world theme. Is that all these are? So these wouldn't be copyrighted because they're covers of songs that are already in the game. Who did the, um, who composed this one? Good for Health, Bad for Imagination by Voya. I don't know who that is. Uh, I just want to know who, who composed all these. Cover of Not So Empty House by Tofi. Huh. Alright. I might have to look up some of these artists if some of them... I wonder if they're, like, well-known in the, like, indie video game scene. Or if they they're just... Um, small, like, YouTube artists who just got commissioned to compose songs. Th this is cool. I like this. But let's go ahead and go to the park. Um, and we'll see... Can we go to the park? Aubrey is gone. Oh, a seashell. So there is more than one. Puzzle pieces. Oh, a bunch of windmills. A group of pinwheels blow freely in the wind. I didn't mean to say windmills. Okay, so I have to go around the other side. A blue picnic basket, nothing like Mari's, so I can't save here. A white eagered orchid. So... I wonder if Basil has secretly been coming here to... Like, pay... R Actually... This is Basil's... This is Basil's area. I don't know why I didn't realize it before, but this, like, in headspace, this bridge is smaller and it would lead to the shoe. This is the same shape. This would lead to the shoe where Basil lived, and then this is... I could never get back here in headspace because this was all blocked by trees.
So yeah, this is Basil's house. I wonder why of all places Omori or Leo picked this spot to represent where Basil lived. I can't interact with that. Huh. Maybe that's why he was so adamant about them leaving? Because he thought they were going to take it away from him? Huh. Youngins. One dollar for your help. Thank you. I knew it. He did join the, recy the Recycultists. Brothers and sisters, we must all accept that we are trash. Yet, although we may be trash, as long as we remain biodegradable, we may, we may yet be saved. Okay. Is that cat in any of these trees? Oh, I can deliver your floor lamp. Give the floor lamp to fashionable mom. Oh my, what a nice floor lamp. Thank you. You have impeccable taste. Hmm, but where is my son Billy? Did he go on one of his tantrums and run off again? Ah, <sighs> he's so temperamental. I wish he wouldn't make such a big deal out of everything all the time. Anyway, you're very thoughtful for getting, for getting this lamp for me. Please come over anytime. I make a mean cup of coffee. Interesting. I am not seeing the cat anywhere. Wait. There's a scooter here. So someone from the scooter gang lives here? I'm drafting out my next painting, but I'm not sure where to start. It's so hard to come up with good ideas. I should just quit art and become a zookeeper or something. So who else lives here? Oh, hi, Angel. You know what? Sure, why not? Ah, intruders! Oh, it's just you guys. Oh, there, you got a pet rock? You have, to, you have to challenge me to a clash. No one can defeat my, defeat my Saucy K. He's the best pet rock ever, and I'll prove it. You're biting me more, you can chew. Come on, Saucy K, let's show them who's stronger one here. Did he pick scissors the whole time? Saucy K, no, you bully. Ah, intruders. Oh, I'll see you guys. Hey, wait a sec. <laughs> Now's the perfect time to challenge you two to a rematch. Ready or not, here I come. Huh? I can heal Cal. That's easy. Little did you know I was using this fight to study your strengths and weaknesses and we fight victory won't come so easily. Okay. I'm bored now. <laughs> Not with the game, I'm just with Angel. Alright. I'm gonna be cutting out a lot of clashes. So let's go and Uh, I don't know. Let's heal Cal, I guess. Or actually, he won't need healing. I don't think we'll... Mm, actually. I was just like, I don't think we'll be fighting anyone again this, this time. But little do I know. I think stranger things have happened, so... I don't suppose the cat is down here. I don't know. The cat is somewhere. We'll find them eventually. Maybe they're in the graveyard. Oh, hi. I'm sensing an evil presence coming from inside my home. 
maybe I'm overthinking it, but I can never be too careful. Hi? Have I been in here before? A holy book. I can't interact with the curtains. I don't think I have been in here before. Find a note. Ho-hum, it looks like your trail has gone cold. How unfortunate. Huh? I don't understand what's going on. A photo of a stranger. A statue of a religious figure you feel as if it's judging you. A fireplace looks like it's used pretty often. Red juice in a glass. It smells kind of like grapes. Photo of a stranger. An assortment of wigs lying this table. The yellow one is missing. This bit is messy. A 3 out of 10. Wardrobe. A bunch of small figurines. A wide tooth comb in front of a mirror. The mirror has sticky notes all over it. Arch, shoulder, back, 15 degrees more. Remember to flex all fingers when posing. Show one eye only when provoked. Ugh. A brand new game console system. It looks so shiny and sleek. A holy book. understand what's going on. I can't look in this mirror, which is comforting. Hi. Cardboard, cu cardboard cutouts of a pair of twins. There's something stuck on the back. Find a note. It seems we have gone missing. We couldn't have gone too far. Find us, dear little brother. Signed, Daphne and Bowen, your loving older siblings. Find a note. <laughs> you looked under the bed, but you did not find anything of interest. Weird. So am I just supposed to try and find them now? National Baking Championship first place. Checked under the table, but you did not find anything of interest. Okay. Um. This is definitely not where I was expecting. Oh. Turn over the rug and find two fluffy pillows. There's a note on the back. This is the oldest trick in the book. I can't believe you would actually fall for this. Signed, Daphne and Bowen, your living older siblings. Scale, you can't remember the last time you used one of these. Why am I doing this? Why isn't Mikhail just doing this? Looked under the bed, did not find anything of interest. Oh, okay. I guess we scared the cat. Oh, are those eyes? Boo! Haha! <laughs> -ha. We got you good, didn't we? 
Hey, wait a second. You're not our darling little brother. Hmm. Hmm. Our little brother is too cool for us now, isn't he, Bowen? He doesn't even have time to play games with his loving older siblings anymore. Yes, Daphne. It is very regrettable. Uh, we barely get any time off work. And when we do, little Mikhail is never around to play with us anymore. It's unfair, isn't it, Bowen? Life is so cruel. Well, that's fine. Now we have some new friends, though I'm not exactly sure what they do. Entertain us, dear friends. Yes, entertain us. Ah, I see that you have a pet. Are you kidding me? Would you perhaps like to clash? <laughs> sure. I can't believe it. Defeat. Hmm, yes, it seems that we have lost this round. Unfortunate. Well, this was all very fun, but we get bored quite easily. Come, brother, let us think of more fun games to play. Goodbye, new friends. This has been pleasant. What the heck? Hey, Mikhail, we took care of your evil presence. Ah, so you have conquered the great- Ah, so you have conquered the great evil. What did it cost you? I can still see the pain in your eyes. Ah, my brother and sister are a real drag, aren't they? Everyone here is the same. Oh, man. All right. I didn't know we'd have two full episodes full of nothing but clashes. I'm gonna go over even longer. I'm just gonna... This is gonna be a mega episode of Clash and stuff. Do you want to play with Hector? Sure. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> That's really charming. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and we just saved. Let's go ahead and Go into the house. Kel! Kel! Hero! Where have you two been? It's so late, I've been worried sick. Sorry, Mom. We got held up. But the good news is, we found Basil, and he's safe. Hum. I'll have you know, I spent all week preparing the chicken roast for tonight's dinner. And... It's gotten cold. Oh, Mom. Please don't cry. Don't worry, Mom. That's what microwaves are for. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My poor dinner. Oh. There, there, honey. Cheer up. Today's a special day. No need to be sad. Look, Hero's back from college. It's good to see you back, champ. Thanks, Dad. Oh, your dad is right. This is no time for sniffles. It's good to see you back, Hero. We've all missed you so much. Is this baby Sally? Ah, it sounds like Sally is awake. I'll go get her. Come on, boys. You must be hungry. Go on and help yourselves to dinner. Of 
Cool. Let's go grab some food and heat it up. Can I look at Sally? Door is locked. Oh. Huh. It's time to prove who's the toddler brother once and for all. This again, Cal. I thought we were over this. Come on, hero. Let's stand back to back like always. So, Leo, which one of us is taller? Oh, uh... I couldn't tell. They look the same height to me. Kel. Haha! <laughs> Looks like I'm finally the taller brother. Wow. My life feels so complete, yet so empty. I guess you've really grown up while I was gone. It's too bad your grades are still coming up short, though. That's uncalled for, hero. Smarts aren't everything. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. I think you're smart too, Kel. Smart in your own way. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Aw, oh, that was cute. <laughs> okay, I thought Hero might talk about the trophies, but I guess not. I can go in here now. I can't look into Hero's mirror. Alright, but let's go and get some food. The purse is gone, so I can't get any pepper spray. You got a home-cooked meal, but it's cold. You can heat it up using the microwave. Phew. Now that everything's calmed down, we can finally relax a bit. It's so good to see you again, Leo. It really has been way too long. Oh, and it's good to see- oh, it's good to see you too again, Kel. So, Leo, I heard from Mom that you're moving away soon. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, he is. Tomorrow's gonna be his last day with us. Moving might seem kind of nerve-wracking now, but it really isn't so bad once you get used to it. I think it would be good for you, Leo. You learn a lot moving to a new place, and it's nice to have a fresh start. I'm a little bit sad to see you go, but it'll be but it'll be okay as long as we keep in touch. Uh, we sure did have a lot of memories together. Sometimes I miss those days. Lazing around, eating food, drinking juice. Yeah, we did everything together. We went to the park, the lake, the beach. But honestly, what I miss the most is hanging out at your place, Leo. You guys had everything. A big TV, all the newest toys, a grand piano. And of course, our very own treehouse. Oh yeah, the treehouse was awesome. I wonder if it's still there. Is it, Leo? Looks like the food's done. Let's eat in the living room. We can continue chatting there. Hmm. By the way, Hero. Basil gave Leo his photo album yesterday. Did you want to see it? Oh boy. You have, you have Basil's photo album on you? Sure, let's look, th let's look through the album while we eat dinner. All the photos with Mario are going to be gone. My first photo... It's my best friend Leo trying out his new violin. Sister Mari, so exciting. I've already read all of these. Just Kel being Kel, so many party hats. Okay, so these are all the same. But... 
yeah, these are all the same. But Hero is going to notice that all of the photos with Mari are gone. I was wondering if I could still read the descriptions, but it doesn't look like I can. Are you done looking at the photo album? I don't know... No? Hang on. Just to make absolutely sure... Does... Hero have any extra commentary? Okay. I'm gonna cut that out because there was no new commentary. It's too bad that some photos are missing. Oh, the music's fading out. Aubrey stole the album from Basil, but we got it back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Hey, hey. Er, wow, that was weird. Hey, Hero, what's up? Are you okay? He, he's noticing that all of the photos that are missing are the ones with Mari in them. Yeah. It's just that, well, Mari isn't in any of these photos. Oh, you're right. She isn't. <sighs> Still, this album really brings back some good memories. Things were a lot simpler when we were all kids. <laughs> Leo, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you you could let us see your house one more time before you leave? Oh, that's a good idea. But you gotta convince Mom first. She's probably gonna be kind of mad about you not spending enough time with her and stuff. You know how she is. <laughs> Aw. Phew. What a mess that was. Sally made a little doo-doo, but she's all clean now. <laughs> hey there, Sally. Peekaboo. <laughs> Stop it, Kel. You're scaring her. Ahem. <clears throat> so, uh... Hey, Mom. We were wondering if we could go hang out at Leo's house today, since he's moving away soon. Oh? But you just came back. And it's already so late. What about spending time with your mom? I'm going to be here for the rest of summer, for the rest of summer, and Leo is leaving the day after tomorrow. We have plenty of time to catch up. I think it's okay to hear over spend to spend some time with Kel and Leo. I haven't seen Leo around for a long time now. It's been a while since the boys have had the chance to hang out. I say we should let them. Huh. <sighs> Fine then. You boys can have your fun. But Hiro has to wash the dishes for me for the next week. Sh sure I guess I can do that. Hmph. <laughs> Alright, you're free to go. Come on, Sally. Let's leave your mean old brothers alone. They don't want anything to do with us, do they, Sally? <laughs> no, Mom. Don't fret about your mom too much, Hero. She just misses you, that's all. She'll feel better after she calms down. You guys go off and do your thing. I'll make sure she's okay. Door's locked. Fair enough. All right, let's go ahead and head out, I guess. Look, Hero, we got your favorites. Some chocolate chip cookies and a big old Hero sandwich. Aw, how sweet. It's exactly the same as last year. <laughs> All right, oh. Oh, lag a little bit. Hey. So I'm really glad that we get to hang out and everything. But I also feel pretty bad for leaving Mom all alone. 
before we head to your house, let's go to fix it and get some flowers for her. I know she'd really appreciate that. Oh, I see you have flowers already. I think we should get my mom some fresh ones, though. Fix it isn't that far off, anyway. Oh, hero. Always a mama's boy. Huh. So he noticed that I had some flowers, but made the excuse that, um, we need fresh ones. Interesting. That probably means that something's going to happen on the way to the fix-it. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to end the episode for today. I'm at an hour and 40 minutes. Hopefully that'll make up for all the clashes. Um, you know what, actually? Let's see... Before I, before I go, let's see if I can... still do the clashes or if I get interrupted because if I get interrupted then I will just um, leave but if I can try to attempt this clash off camera then that's what I'll do Okay, so it does look like I can attempt this clash off camera, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and end it there. Uh, very interesting. So we took Basil home. It's interesting that Polly said she's been taking care of him for two years and he hasn't opened up to her at all. Um, we also... Uh, explored around town with Hero, and we did a lot of side stuff, which was unexpected. Oh, I need to give that girl the shell. Um, I'll do that next time. Mm, yeah, we'll do that next time. But yeah, um, I don't even know if she's still at the park. But the, uh... Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Because we could just go to the treehouse, but it's very, for some reason, it's very important that we stop at Fix It. So, I mean, we will see what happens. I was also correct in uh, knowing that Hero was going to notice that all the photos of Mari were gone. So I wonder if we're going to see what happened to those photos in this day. But uh, yeah, when we come back, we're gonna head to fix it, then probably head to the treehouse. I don't know if there's any side quests here waiting for us, but like, or any more side quests around town for this day, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, thank everybody so much for checking out the video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to be notified of when I upload the next part of the file to the archives, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that bell, as well as leave a like or comment if you so desire. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Upload successful. Click here to view previous files. Have a pleasant day.